Hi, uh, welcome to Windows Communication Foundation. My name is Darni and uh, this is my email ID. So this is a series of tutorial wherein uh, we will be seeing how to develop uh, a Windows Communication Foundation. There wherein we will see how to develop a service, implement a service, host a service and then also consume a service using a client. So if you have any queries, um, please feel free to email uh, to my ID or if you have any suggestions you can also put your suggestions so this is my first uh, tutorial so please bear with me and um, in my series of tutorial we will see how to develop all the WCF uh, components okay so the first and foremost we will see what is SOA in this tutorial okay why we need a SOA okay why we need a SOA and what are the features of SOA okay so before seeing what is the SOA we will see the challenges that normally uh, a developer will face in uh, developing a system okay the first challenge that a developer normally faces is distributed environment we are living in a distributed world okay wherein all the systems that are developed should be able to adapt to the distributed environment okay so that is the first challenge and the second challenge is the system developed by a developer should be productive okay and the third challenge is agile businesses so any changes in a business environment will directly reflect on the IT team so if a system is developed for business A and suddenly if business A is going to merge with another business so it has to adapt itself to all the changes that is happening in the business environment so a developer should make sure that a system that is that the developer is developing is able to adapt itself to all the changes that are happening in the business environment and the fourth one is scalable since the businesses is agile okay and uh, my system should be scalable and reliable reliable because uh, we are putting the system in a distributed environment so there can be multiple clients trying to access the system at the same time so at that point my system should not fail there should not be any failure in system and the third one last one is security security is because uh, again it is in a distributed environment uh, authorizations and authentication should be available so that uh, my system is secured in uh, in the distributed place so all these should be achieved in a reduced cost so this is the main clause okay so these are the challenges normally a developer will face while developing a system for a distributed environment so we are going to see how we can achieve or overcome all these challenges using a SOA architecture. So what are SOA architecture features? What are the features of a SOA architecture? The first feature is agility. Okay. How agility is achieved using SOA architecture? So in a SOA architecture, we build a WCF using services through services these services are independent okay and so any changes uh, to the business environment we don't have to change the contract instead we can change uh, just the implementation part okay so agility is provided in a SOA architecture and second one is productivity okay complex systems can be developed using uh, SOA architecture uh, of course building the complex system at the initial stage is very expensive and it is very hard to implement and it is very time consuming but still once a complex system is built it can be reused so if this is again another feature that is given by SOA architecture the services that are uh, implemented or uh, uh, compiled can be used any number of times and uh, since the services can be used any number of times uh, this reduces the cost okay so initially for building uh, 
a system it may take it may be cost consuming and it may be time consuming and very hard to implement but once it has been uh, implemented it can be reused any number of times and this reduces the cost eventually and the fifth one is it is reliable how it is reliable services can be backed up okay we can have backup services so when there is a system failure system uh, failure uh, there can we can have another service as a backup and uh, so the client will not be aware of the system failure or the service failure so this can be achieved so so through our soa architecture we can provide a reliable system and we can have a scalable system this is again because uh, my services that i built can be uh, backed up or we can have multiple copies and we can have duplicates so by that we can have a scalable system also and security is provided in all the levels it is up to the a developer to implement the securities uh, using the authentication and authorization tokens so all these features are provided by the soa architecture so soa architecture we can define it as a architectural pattern for developing systems uh, to run in a distributed environment okay so if a developer wants to develop a system to run in a distributed environment the developer can go for this SOA architecture.